knew that he has a Ph.D. in music from Columbia University, that he has served as chair of Afro-American Studies at Howard University, and is now head of Afro-American Jazz Studies at Oberlin Conservatory of Music. You're probably only familiar with a string of hits that this jazz great has given us. I'm Tony Brown. In a moment, Dr. Donald Byrd and Forgotten Legends of Jazz. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Donald Byrd. <laughs> Dr. Byrd, you are one of the pioneers of jazz. And before we went on the air, you were giving me a little history lesson about the last 100 years in American music relating to jazz. Would you give me that again, please? Tony, uh, you can say in about 1890 is when jazz music started in the United States. And uh, in a year's time, we will, I'd like to review and just look back at what has happened and what has made this music so pervasive and such, what, so profound and why that everybody in the world is crazy about this music. And if they're doing anything on Saturday night, more than likely, they're dancing to jazz or to some black African American music. All right, now, uh, because I don't know much about jazz, uh, I didn't follow all of your logic. Uh, you say it's so popular now. What evidence is it in the popular culture that jazz is popular? I talked to so many people who are advocates of jazz and they're complaining that uh, blacks in particular are not supporting jazz. Uh, blacks are really not into jazz. Am I, is that point of view wrong? Well, that is a, that's a common myth, yes, uh, that a lot of people say that and for various reasons. I think sometimes it's because of economic reasons. They say that 85% of uh, the jazz audience is white and that it's played at mostly white venues and clubs and so forth and uh, that it's only acknowledged by certain uh, mostly white institutions and so forth. Uh, that is somewhat true. I'll say that out of most of black academia, I'd say, at my last counting, I think it was maybe about 112, 114 black institutions in this country, that only a few like Howard University had uh, departments where they even uh, granted degrees and so forth, or that even that looked upon uh, our music, all of black music, uh, in a respectable manner, that they even accept uh, things like uh, gospel choirs and uh, spiritual music in, these, in the institutions. Uh, but I don't believe that. I think that really that the music comes out of our experience, and so sometimes we take it for granted.